everyone, very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I need to get ready. As you can see, it's Saturday morning and yeah, the day has just started and I need some makeup on. I have some old makeup in my collection. Well, old, I don't know. It's makeup in my collection and I have some new things as well because I do have two advent calendar. I open every day until Christmas and in these calendars there are makeup so I'm super excited. I'm just going to show you a little bit what I got. So I got a Ciate London blush and this is the Matchmaker. It looks so gorgeous you guys. Can you see? Really, really pretty. We're going to try that today. I got this Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth Blur Primer. I have used this before. This is like not a new product for me, but yeah, we're gonna use it today. I also got this uh, Linda Halvar LH <laughs> Cosmetics. Uh, this is a on set long lasting setting spray. So we're gonna try this one out as well. What else do we got? Uh, I got a brow gel. I'm gonna try that one out. I have, oh my God, <laughs> I have a liner from Morphe. Make it big. I don't know, do we want to make it big, the liner? I don't know. And we have a lip liner, so yeah. And I'm gonna do an eye look with, like I'm gonna do a liner, like a thick liner, and I'm gonna put some like green shimmer on that and maybe some glitter on top of that, I don't know. It's gonna be fun anyway, but if this is the first time here, very welcome. On this channel is almost all about makeup, so if you like makeup content, check out my channel. I mean, I do three videos a week, but I also have vlogs and also fashion related videos and sometimes I do other stuff. I don't know, it's a little bit of everything here and I do love makeup, I do love neutrals, colorful, everything in between. So check it out if you are curious and I would love to have you as a subscriber if you like it. <laughs> but with that being said, let's get ready. Okay, I have some you guys in a little bit. I actually took this one in my last get ready with me. I got this one from It Cosmetics. It's a brow brow pen. <laughs> and I have just filled in my brows with this one. I think it's really good. I'm going to try this one now that I got in this advent calendar. And this is from Beauty Act. This is a brand from Kix. And Kix is from Sweden. And this is the Fixing Fiber Brow Mascara. I feel like it is clear. It's a clear one. But it has some... Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see, but it has some fiber, like, hair or something. It looks like small hair bits in this. So I think it's gonna make it a little bit more thicker. So I'm gonna try it and see if it's any... Ooh, okay. I feel like... Okay, straight away. I feel like my brow is turning gray or something. I have something like this from NYX that I really love, but that one is tinted, so that one has a color to it, which is good, because this was what I was afraid of. I'm gonna see if it's gonna turn, if it's just turning right now, a little bit grayish, because, yeah, this is clear, but I don't know if it's, like, 100% clear. You can actually, like, use this a couple of times on each brow, so it gets a little bit thicker, like... I don't know. Is this gonna disappear this white? Because now it looks crazy. But hopefully it doesn't. I don't know. It feels really thick on the brows right now. I don't know if you can see like the white in the brows. I can definitely see it. Maybe it just needs to dry down. We're gonna, we're gonna see. So I'm gonna take, this is a very small, I actually got this super mini primer uh, from Smashbox. I also got a little bigger size, but I didn't want to open that one. So I'm just going to take this one. This is a blurring, super blurring primer. I have used this before. I mean, this is a, this is the original, the classic one, right? Yeah, the original photo finish, smooth and blur. And I feel like it turns a little bit matte as well, but it feels really silky on the skin. It feels really, really smooth. It is actually a really nice feeling. I don't know, not everyone loves this feeling, but it's a real, really silicone-y and yeah, I kind of like it. <laughs> On the Black Friday sale, I actually bought two things from Charlotte Tilbury and the two things are two things I already own in my collection. I just purchased two new ones because I'm 
soon I will be out of them. I bought another one of these, uh, of this, I mean, airbrushed flawless foundation, but in another shade. This is a lighter shade, guys, because the shade I have works when I have a self-tanner, but if I am a little bit paler, <laughs> I need to mix that one with a lighter foundation, but this one I think is a good match. This is number three neutral. The one I have before is number four neutral, and I think it's a really big step, like with this one, it's a little more lighter. The other one is a little more darker and orangey, I believe. And I also bought one of these again, because I'm all, almost out of this one. I'm gonna use this today. I really love, when I want a full coverage, I really love to grab this one, to use this one from Charlotte Tilbury because it's just a really, really good foundation. I know it's expensive, but I mean, I repurchased it, so it is, in my opinion, a really, really good foundation. A lot of people maybe don't like this foundation because it's very, they think it's a little bit heavy, maybe. On me, I don't feel like it's heavy. I feel like it's full, full coverage because it is, but I feel like it looks so good on the skin, but of course, if you don't like full coverage, you will not love this foundation. That's just how it is. But if you enjoy like having a good coverage foundation that actually looks like skin and looks very healthy and beautiful and flawless, I can totally recommend this one. I absolutely love this one <laughs> so much. This is a better shade for me. It looks very pale now, but I mean, we're gonna put on bronzer, but if you can look like my neck is matching <laughs> My, my face and that's how it's supposed to be and the other foundation was a little tricky because that one was a little bit darker and uh, now I'm just gonna conceal this is not a new product this is just like a little bit of goodie I love this yeah this is the Too Faced one I love this concealer I'm gonna use it up and then maybe I'm gonna repurchase it because I do love it that much but I am very curious about that Huda Huda Beauty concealer that seems to be very very good so maybe I'm gonna try that one maybe I'm gonna try that one I, I have no idea I'm not gonna purchase a concealer now I am gonna wait until this one is is done and finished and you know <laughs> so that's just how it is it feels like I have another pattern when it comes to purchasing makeup right now the last year um, if this would be over a year ago, I would definitely purchase that Huda Beauty concealer. I wouldn't think about that I had a lot in my drawers. I would just want to try it and see if it's good. So, <laughs> but now I do feel like I I see what I have and what, especially when it comes to foundations and concealers, especially concealers because that is like, I don't know, I can have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and I think it's fun, but concealer is just supposed to conceal and if I have something good, I don't need another one, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But okay, this is how it looks and yeah, I also have this one. I don't know, uh, I tried this one in my last Get Ready With Me. I got this also in this heaven calendar. And this is the Multitext Dew Face Gloss. This is really cool, actually. It is like a jelly formula that you put on your skin and it makes it a little bit dewy and glowy, the skin. It's actually really fun. But I don't know if I'm gonna try today, though. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Ofra in River, this bronze duo. This is in collaboration with Samantha March. I do love this one. This is a very, very warm bronzer, so if you don't like that, <laughs> I don't know if you will enjoy this one. This one is so pretty though. I really love this, this kind of bronzer. And what I love about it is that it actually is like glowy as well. You have a matte side and you have a glowy side. I always dip into both, but if you just want a matte bronzer, you can just use one side of this bronzer. I'm just gonna show you one side and this one, and this one is a little more glowy. So you can actually costume how you want your bronzer, but I just think it looks very, very pretty just to swirl around and just use the both sides of this bronzer. Okay, now for this beautiful blush from Ciate. And 
yeah, I have no, it's just says matchmaker on this one, but I'm gonna show you. Look at this beautiful blush. I mean, look at it. It's so, so pretty. It's like marble and it seems to have a lot of sheen to it. Okay, so I'm very curious. I'm gonna take a very small brush here. You can see it fits really good, but it is a very, very small <laughs> packaging. So I'm just gonna, and I have a small face, so I think this will work with this blush. Oh, it has a really nice sheen to it. It actually has a lot of pigment as well. I hope you can see. It is super pretty. It is kind of pink, but it has like this shift to it. Looks like a gold marbled shimmer in this one as well. Just a little bit on my apples and my nose. I really like this. I think a lot of people would love this one. I mean, it comes in an advent calendar, so they have to think about what a lot of people would like, but yeah, I think it's very, very pretty. I have this one from Pixie. I tried in my last <laughs> Get Ready With Me, but I'm just gonna use this lightest part here and I'm just gonna use it a little bit as a highlighter. Maybe I'm gonna pull in another highlighter as well because I do want a better effect. I said in that video that I think I'm gonna use this as a highlighter, that one. I have, but I don't think it's like a lot. Like it, it doesn't give that super highlighted effect. Oh my god, I'm just gonna take all the butter goodie. This is from the balm and this is just so... <laughs> this is what everyone used. Um, I don't know, uh, when was that? Like when beauty community was really big <laughs> back in the days. But I do love this one still. I mean, it's a really really good highlighter. Cannot lie, it performs so good still. Mary Luminizer <laughs> uh, is the name of that. Okay guys, are we going to do, maybe I'm gonna do little lips and then we're gonna do this eye look because I'm very excited. First of all, we're gonna try this one. So we're gonna set everything. Let's see how these brows look. No, not good guys. This is like, has it dried down. It feels good, but it's like gray. It's like gray on my on my brows. I don't like it. Okay, let's try this one then. This is a setting spray from, as I said, LH Cosmetics or Linda Hallberg. Okay, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh. oh, what a fine spritz. Mmm, it smells good as well. Oh, this one was really nice, even thin, like spritz, uh, so it was not chunky. And it smells so fresh. Oh, I love this. Okay, I, I don't know if I love it because I don't know if it's gonna be any good because I will never know until the end of the day if this has worked because this is a setting spray. But let's do the lips. I have a lip liner here and this is from Beauty Act again, this brand from Kix and this is the Contour and Fill Lip Liner. Okay, <laughs> all in nude. Well, I'm gonna fill it in. I have used this before though. It is... Very, very creamy and I... I don't know if this is a lip liner because it says fill it in. I don't know if you can just... Of course, you can just use this one on its own, but if it's like promoted as just a lip liner you can use and not put a lipstick on. I have so dry lips now, but I'm gonna put a lip gloss on because yeah, I need that. <laughs> I'm gonna put this one on. This is from Colourpop. This is the Lux Lip Oil. I love these. This is so good, you guys. This is in Hot Spark. I love the formula of this lip, uh, lip oil or lip gloss. It's just so comfy. If you're looking for something smooth that doesn't feel like sticky when you push your lips together, <laughs> if you know what I mean, this is an outstanding product for that. Okay, so now I'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna do this eye look and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, I've zoomed you guys in a little bit more and what I'm planning to do is doing a thick liner with this new product here from Morphe. It's just like a is it a felt tip liner? I think it is. Well, 
it's just a liner, but that is going to be the base. And then on top of that, I am going to take this palette here. This is the Merry Christmas by Uden's Eye, but you can take whatever you want uh, if you want to recreate it. I have no idea if this is going to look good. <laughs> this saying, I'm going to take this shimmer and I'm going to put it on the liner. And then maybe <laughs> in top of that, I'm going to take some glitter. So I have this from Pixie. This is the Glittery Eye Quad in Blue Pearl. And maybe I'm going to take this greenish turquoise and put that one on as well. But we can gonna see if it's gonna look good. But I'm first gonna like set this. I have put some eye primer on. It started to crease a little bit, but I'm just gonna do a little base here. So I'm gonna take like this one that is kind of my skin tone and just set this a little bit here, like in the crease. And I just wanna make a little bit of shadow and then I'm gonna like, I don't know. I'm gonna mix a little bit. I just want a little bit of shadow here. I'm just creating a little something. You can see, you can almost not see it. I mean, that's the purpose. I just want something on before I go in with this. So let's see what this is then. <laughs> this is from Morphe, as I said. This is the, it's a brush tip liquid liner. And it is in black, so we're gonna see. I'm, I'm so worse doing these liners, especially on camera. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna start with doing like that. It's very thin though, that's good. And then I'm gonna like, This is so hard when you have lids that is like a little bit older. I don't know. <laughs> I always have a really hard time to do a thick liner. Is this very, very dry? <sighs> Hopefully this will be good. I don't know. What is this? What is this? This is like super dry. I don't know what this is. Oh. It's gonna end up me taking my NYX one. I can feel it. Oh God. I don't know about this guys. I need to do the other wing with this because it's not pigmented enough. Can you see? Seriously, can you see? This is. This is like nothing. Am I supposed to do something with this? Am I doing something wrong? I am so annoyed. Look at this. This is so bad. Don't buy this one. Seriously, look at this. What is this? I'm giving up. I... Where is the pigment? I'm gonna put this like upside down so it, I don't know, the pigment can come down and I'm gonna take my NYX one. This one, it's a good one. This is the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, but this one, <laughs> I need to buy a new one. So I don't know. I mean, look at that. Pigment straight away and no problem at all. But it looks like a tree, like the strokes on this one. Okay, I just have to realize thick liners are not my thing. I cannot do them. I don't think my eyes are the right shape to do them. I don't know. I <laughs> just, I redid it off camera as well. And this is the best I can come up with. I have no idea, but how this is gonna be. But I, <laughs> I'm gonna stick to the plan and I'm gonna take, let me see here. I'm gonna take this shade here on this kind of brush and I'm just gonna fill this in. I don't know if I need, maybe I need to spray it a little bit. And then I'm gonna like fill this in with shimmer, this green shimmer. So we have like a base here with the black and then I'm just gonna start to fill it in and hopefully it's gonna look good. <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see. This is a beautiful shade though. I mean, 
I absolutely love this shade. It's gonna be like a very festive look here. Okay, so now it looks like this and we can gonna, oh my god, we're gonna try this one now. So I'm gonna take the same brush, like this one. I don't know if I need, usually I don't need a glitter glue with these glitters from Pixie. So I'm gonna try not to. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm just gonna push it. And I, I do have a little fallout here. <laughs> I can see that. This is a fun way to make a festive eye look. Is this festive? <laughs> I hope so. Okay, okay, okay. Now it looks like this. Are we going to do anything on the bottom lashes? Like mascara I'm gonna put there, but I am gonna take this one again, just make some shadows. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna take that, the shades I had up here. I think I'm gonna put some mascara on. Okay, put some mascara on. It doesn't look that good with the mascara. It's not my favorite mascara, but anyways, I took this one. The Bare Minerals Strength and Length. <laughs> it's supposed to be a serum that makes your lashes gonna be stronger and longer and all that in eight weeks or something. But the actual mascara is not good, so I always take this one to get volume off of this one, but today it just went a little bit not good. I'm gonna put some lashes on, that's what I'm trying to say, but in my waterline I just put this one from uh, makeup store is just in vanilla. You can see like a yellowish nude or white so it gets a little brighter uh, in my waterline but yeah this is how it looks now and I'm gonna put some lashes on and you're gonna see that right now. Okay and here is with the lashes. Uh, I think this looks very very pretty now when I have the lashes on. I mean I don't think my eyes, the shape of my eyes are the best for thick liners. I can see here, uh, but anyways, <laughs> this is how it looks and I'm gonna give you a close up. Okay, that was the finished look guys. What do you think? I had a really hard time to get this off. Like it was, the glitter is like up here, but I just tried. I, I don't know how this is gonna look in the end of the day, but <laughs> I feel like it's a fun and festive uh, eye look to do. And yeah, hopefully it will not transfer up here that much during the day, but we're gonna see about that. So let's talk about these products then. Let's talk about the blush. It looks gorgeous on the skin. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just very like reflective and I think it's super pretty. I'm gonna use this now and Maybe I can come back to you and tell you if I change my mind about something. I don't know, but for a first impression, I really like it. I really like this one as well. I really love the scent of this one and also the spritz. So more than that, I cannot tell you because we need to see if it's gonna last. And yeah, this one is a classic, the Smashbox Photo Finish. It's a really good primer in my opinion. The lip liner is very good as well. It's very, very creamy though. So I'm a little bit like, it can smear out a little bit easy, but yeah. The things that is not that good <laughs> is the brow gel. This I don't like because this has just dried down to white stripes like on my brows. They look like gray. Not an ideal look <laughs> when it comes to brows. And this one, oh my God, this Morphe one, this is just dried out. I don't know what happened with this one. It's just bad. Maybe it's good if it was pigment in it, but right now it's not. So <laughs> it's a minus. It's a, like a no, no, no <laughs> for this one. But anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and I see you in my next one. Take care, guys. Bye.